there earlier today, so luckily. But how's everyone doing? We're going to be playing a little bit of a change-up today. We're going to be playing some Pioneer. Um, Gabriel in the chat um, has been uh, eagerly uh, requesting some Pioneer. And I haven't touched Pioneer, honestly, since the um, Ballista Inverter... Um, those bands because uh, I actually had an Abzan deck in Pioneer where um, it was like a traverse base build uh, where it was black white and it had like one Hillion and like three Blistas and it just had like the usual um, <clears throat> kind of mid range plan you know Thoughtseize, Grim Flare, Nissa um, so it, it had like a nice mid range plan, and then worst case scenario, if you need a tutor for a, an infinite combo, you can tutor for walking ballista. Uh, so I really like that deck, and since they banned it, I didn't really explore the format too much. But I've heard a lot of good things about the format, and Gabriel has been pestering me for many months. Um, and I think now is a good time to kind of try it out. Um, modern's kind of a lane deck format right now. Um, and Gabriel kind of gave me two lists or three lists, right? It was like Jund and Abzan kind of just let Gabe pick whichever, um, they liked more. And I guess <laughs> it is the Abzan channel. So I guess we have to stick to the brand, right? I was open to playing Jund, but, um, uh, we can see how this feels and then we can probably do Jund in the future if that's something that you, uh, want. If you have any changes you want to make, it's totally up to you. I, I, I'm i just going to leave it up to you. I haven't tested the format in a hot minute, and I'm going to come in from a perspective where, you know, I, I come in, I've only I've, you only played Modern, right? So I don't... I'm just going to play the list how you made it, and we're just going to go from there. Uh, I don't want to make too ch many changes because I feel like I don't have... I'm, I'm not one to talk in terms of, you know, adjustments before I even played the format. I think I'm saying you to play here since Euroban. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure the format's a lot better with, you know, something like that out of the format. But to go over the deck, uh, there's 24 lands, uh, which I think is a good starting point because of how um, top-heavy this list is. But then again, this is Pioneer, so I'm assuming the format is slower. Uh, but there's, you know, a place of the Blooming Marsh, um to conceal courtyard i li really love castle that's a card i really miss from pioneer um just being able to just have a land that just draws cards is just so good field passes for delirium and you know it's a three code actually so kind of want the fetches two triumphs you know want to make sure your colors are online a couple of, a few shocks a couple of check lands here and then a couple of basics um and then from there it's the usual bgx plan right thought sees fatal push removal spells disrupt decay trophy uh, and then you have your nice two drops with Scavenging Use and Grim Flare. And the card that Gabriel is trying to entice me to play, which is Lurus. Uh, I just love Lurus. Um, and instead of having Bristol's Bobble in the format, we have Unbridled Growth, where we can just bring it back for green and sack it to draw a card and kind of start this engine. And it kind of synergizes with Grim Flare, being able to um, have an enchantment to try to have Delirium early on. And just in the late game, too, just being able to... Um, you know, be able to cast white mana, right? So we have, like, double white here and white in the rhino. So, like, we have white in the top end. So hopefully this helps later on um, when we cast these cards. Uh, Leon, the last up is a one of his the Flood Plains Walker. Seems pretty cool. And then this is kind of the top-heavy uh, cards. We have two place of rhinos, and I think that's kind of the hope that people have a format where Siege Rhino is playable. Um, and I know people are saying it's not, but I guess we'll see ourselves if Rhino is playable in Pioneer. Vasca is a pretty sweet Planeswalker in the main deck. And they top it up with Elspeth Conqueror's Death. I heard a lot of good things about ECD um, in this format. People say it's really, really, really powerful. So we'll see how it goes. And then we're going to add her with some obs of that. And when I first started playing Pioneer, there was a list that Aspiring Spike made where uh, the list was built around Obzidat, Siege Rhino, and Questing Beast, and I really liked that list because it just put on a ton of pressure. Where like every like these cards kind of have pseudo haste, where it's like the moment they come into play, like they threaten your life, right? Like, and that's kind of a cool take on you know just an Abzan as an archetype because usually you know none of like our effects don't have haste, but being able to like recur when like a top deck of Rhino is three life, you know Obzidat's two life right off the bat, and then it's just. I'm not sure how much the farm has changed in terms of a removal sweep, but this card is pretty hard to remove. Last I played uh, this format, I know like the only answers were like Murderous Rider at the time. 
Um, and then from there, the sideboard's kind of cool. Archangel Alvison is a really cool card. Um, Binding of the Old Gods. I definitely had to read this card, but I think this card's pretty popular in Pioneer from what I've seen. Brutality is kind of a cool card in this format. Duress. Gideon, I love. Knight of Autumn. Obnixilis is another one of my favorite cards. Uh, Southern Records seems like a sweet catch-all for aggro decks. And then Soul Guy Lantern for the Yard Hate. So it should be cool. Seems like a cool list. Um, definitely a list that I am interested in while at my real house. So hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. I, you know, this is going to be my first uh, match of Pioneer. And I don't even know when the Blisto ban was. Let's see. When was this? It's August 2020. So literally nine months ago. Almost 10 was when I stopped playing this format. So hopefully it's, uh, this type of deck has some legs here. Murderous Rider and Trophy. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, that's that's probably the same amount of removal as there were um, when I last left. And that's the thing about, about Obzat. Like, it's, like, if you can somehow resolve it against control, it's just so good. Because now they, you just, like, let it, you just... Now you are in the driver's seat. Like, you're just playing draw, go. And force them to remove the opposite. And it's great because it doesn't have... If they have any main phase effects, um, opposite just ignores it, right? But we'll see. It should be fun. Hopefully we can rhino some people. Yeah, exactly. I, th I think the thing about control from last time I played Pioneer, right, is like it's so difficult to resolve it but like if you have a chance to resolve it and you kind of protect it with like discard spell into opposite that like opposite is just so good um because like you it's just like a ticking time bomb right and if they like tap out to kill opposite that then you can resolve a rhino and you know it's just so good Ooh, opposite that oh, ecd bringing them back seems pretty sweet that's all that seems like a really fun sequence of plays like ecd bringing back rhinos and obsidats and luris <laughs> so see how this plays out i am kind of concerned that there aren't enough cards to bring back it's just a four flare two screws and a bit row. that's 10 cards i guess that's enough um It's just going to be weird, personally, because, like, the format is just so... It's going to be a lot slower compared to modern, right? Stuff like Fable Satchis is a good card, right? So, Ugin the Stoner Dragon. Are they, is there, like, a Tron in this format? Um, I think we will in this, right? We can't keep a one lander on the play. That sounds better. Probably just bought on the Rhino here. We're kind of far from it. So probably just play the triumph first, and then we could either push the threat, or just growth, the passage, which actually is okay, I guess. For everything, the passage actually doesn't seem bad. Ooh, mystic. Okay. Oh, we're just so close. I kind of want to growth the passage and then push the mystic. Uh, make sure I don't want to sacrifice it. Push that. Hopefully we draw a land here. And we can just Liliana them to death. This one of Liliana seems pretty clutch. Hopefully they cut the one lander. That would be pretty funny if they did. Okay. Okay, they play this tapped. Oh my god, please. L untapped land. One time. Um, damn, this would have been so good. Do we just have the thought seize here? I feel like I have the thought seize here. Selesnia Company. 
I don't know what any of these car these decks do. I'm gonna have to like scout a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should thought seize or grim flare. I think like my knee jerk reaction is to like to play the the thought seize. Okay, Brandon Company, so Scooze, Voice, Archon, Elite Spellmaster, Love Strike Beast, Skycleave Apparition. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Thought Seize here. Uh, actually, hmm. I wonder if I should sack this first. Just to hit a land drop, probably. Let's do that. Ugh. Decay's not a bad draw. Okay. So they get Spellbinder us. I think we just have to take the Collector Company. And then we'll just Fable Passage at the end of their turn. Damn, that... Uh, that last hope on turn um, three would have been so good. So good. Now I feel like we am from, like, very ahead to, like, we are probably going to lose the game now. Because we missed a land job and they drew the fourth land. Our fourth mana source. Damn it. Um I guess I have to get a black source here. I'll probably take this. Wow. We really need to hit our land drops because this is like our one of Luluna because it kills like almost all their stuff because now if they play a they just skyclave it which is unfortunate and well we have delirium ironically which is great um i'm gonna get swamp here maybe i should have actually fetched the turn just try to hit a land drop Right, we're just gonna we're just gonna get out tempoed here because then they just like sky cleaver guy attack for four. Oh, they took the decay that's such a greedy line wow i can't believe they took the wow i am surprised they left us with this because, like, now if we can resolve this, we are just, like, in the game. Please, one time. Come on, deck. Okay, well, now they can kill our... Um... God damn it. Because I can kill this, but then they just kill us on the crackback. If I play Grim Flare, they just play Scooze, or they could just Spellbinder the Liliana. I think I just have to just get the Liliana down, unfortunately. And just answer this. So now they Spellbinder, they probably take the Grim Flare. <laughs> Again, if we draw a land here, it's not bad. Because we can, like, decay this apparition. Hmm. Okay. Take a Grim Flare here. <laughs> How's it going, Blitz? <laughs> I, will, I will admit your, um... Your Twitter burns are very real. <laughs> I will give you credit for that. I think we just have to pass. I think we just have to decay here. 
And then if they try to attack with these mystics, which I hope they do. Okay. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> I will admit, they are pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's, because this is just two more, right? Let's crack this, get a forest. Let's decay the Skycleave Apparition. Then we can block the Mystic. This is Sorcery Speed, so it doesn't do it right now. Block here. And then we're at the point where we draw an untapped land here. Obviously, that can potentially take over the game, too. Okay. No, I think this is too much pressure now. Oh, I really wish we resolved that. Liliana, last hope. We go back up to 10. We have to block here. I think we just have to resolve this obs of that. And then we just hope they don't do anything. Appreciate it, Blitz. Thank you. My girlfriend was very happy with the proposal. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, like, if we don't flicker this, will they attack? I feel like the answer is no. So I, I think I just don't flicker this obs of that. Because we have to have it back on defense, and that's like the worst. Because like obs that literally just doesn't do anything. We really need like a. Um... <sighs> I don't know. Like, I'm not even sure if I have to trade here. And I think the correct answer is we probably have to trade here. Which sucks. Like the way we win this game is we draw a removal spell and a removal spell. Sucks. It sucks that we're trading our five drop for their three job and still have a one one left over. Oh my goodness, Zenith live! Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Hope it went well. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Hey, we got dueling scuses. Dueling scuses. What did you stream and how did it go? Okay. There's plenty of creatures to go around here. Historic decks, nice. Oh, it was medium. <laughs> I heard a lot of mixed feelings about historic too. I heard people either really, really like historic or kind of meh about historic. There's nothing, nothing in between. I eat this now while uh, our opponent is potentially tapped out. I mean, we're we're like at a virtual six life because of this. Wow, okay. We're just gonna <laughs> keep <laughs> Oh, yeah, I heard that. I heard, like, the League meta was, like, 50%, um, like, tainted packed or something like that. Is that true? Because that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of, uh, of one deck. Uh, it seems like their opponent doesn't play any non-creature permanents. Or anything that's three minute or greater. It was, like, Spellbinder... It seems like they don't want run that much removal, right? So I feel like ECD is something that can probably come out. Um, 
I think we just let him be more lower to the ground, right? Things seem fine. Oh, I see. But if they have the Great Henge, we could probably just... Tr like, I think we can fight through a Great Henge. Like, I, I guess it just depends on how mid-range do we want to go. Like, do we want to bring in Gideons? Like, I think I like these Brutalities because every, every one of their creatures dies to it, potentially. So... I don't I I think this is how I would sideboard. Maybe I want an op Nixilis instead of an ops of that. So maybe we want to swap there. Thank you for the follow, Zenith. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I appreciate the raid again. And welcome everyone for tuning in. Normally I'm a modern streamer, but uh Gabriel in the chat has convinced me to try some pioneer as I haven't played this format in a very, very long time. Uh, I'd like to bring in Settle. Settle would be kind of cute. Let's just have some fun. Let's bring in the Settles. Um, what do we cut, though? Do we just trim a Rhino? I don't hate trimming a Rhino. Maybe trim a Lurus? Just because like, they don't have that much removal. Yeah, maybe always that's not where we want to be. Maybe we want like something that actually sticks to the board. Let's just try something like this. Sounds pretty sweet. All our lands kind of like tapped. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Maybe I should have played this first. Just in case I draw Grim Flare. No, but even then, I, I'd rather do this, right? And then we can... Oh, God. Please give me an untapped land. If the land also just wants to destroy people, they know they want it. Hmm. Okay, I can't push that on my turn. That's not bad. Oh, do we want to just expose it to a Skyclave, though? Like, exposing this to a Skyclave is just so bad. Um, I kind of just want to play Lurus just to bait out the Skyclave and then Liliana after. Like, I kind of want to go Lurus naked into a Rhino next turn into Liliana and then we can just protect it. I think that's the game plan here. Because they're, they're kind of incentivized to um, Skyclave the Lurus if they have it. Um, which is again fine and we can go rhino yep okay so we, we successfully I don't know if you want to call it successfully but successfully baited out the skyclave and then now we can siege rhino okay Hashtag Moo Cow, let's go. <laughs> they Skyclave again? That would be really funny. I can't push, though. That's the problem. This card's kind of scary. Okay, interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Do we get him here? 
I think we um, Liliana here, and we set up to settle next turn. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> They could potentially kill our Liliana here if they sack this. Okay. Well, now that they know about our settle. Hmm. Can't really push either because I don't want them to get another token. We're just gonna get out grinded by this guy, unfortunately. Well, we're gonna take the for sure kill spell here. Guess we thought sees. That's not a bad take. Um, the fact that we can't trigger a vault easily here is kind of awkward. So I think we just have to push the skews now before they make it into a 5-5. Five five. <clears throat> this card's kind of busted in this matchup. So... An untapped land wouldn't be bad because then we can just hold up settle. Just gonna. This card's really good. <laughs> Is that a mainstay in this deck? It's like a sideboard card. It's not in the. It's not in the MTG Goldfish. How's it going, Skull Clamp? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Gabriel has been wanting me to play this format, so we're going to be in a go, that's for sure. <laughs> Siege Rhino is also bad. Yeah, Rhino has been okay, that's for sure. So we can plus and kill this human so this love strike we beast can't a god damn it. So they can kill this Liliana here. Oh, dang it. Just these draws have just been so awkward. Cause they could theoretically pump the ooh, they tap this. Okay, well, I guess they can't kill this unless they play a 1-1. One, one. Then they can theoretically attack. Okay. You can have my Thoughtseize. It's fine. So the fact that they don't have a 1-1 one, is kind of clutch here. We can kill their Spellbind. So this little one is kind of digging us out of this. A little bit. So on top land. Do we have any flyers here in this deck? No, huh? Like a um. <laughs> okay, well. I'm gonna just sack this now. Ooh. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> you're saying there's a chance. No more spellbinders. No more spellbinders.
They're gonna help they just attack all. Uh that's not bad per se. Do they get to take my rhino out? Oh oh my god. Fucking attack all dude. Fucking do it. Don't spellbinder me. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're doing it. Right click attack all. Right click attack all. Oh my god. Oh, but they get the token off the voice. So that's kind of unfortunate. But this is still pretty sweet. It's a 6-6? Six, six? Yikes. I guess it's a 3-3. Three, three. Wow. That was so insane. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. So they have a flyer now. Okay. We can theoretically decay this, block this. So let's plus here. Plus the flyer. Oh my gosh. That self record was so good. <laughs> How's it going, Jesse? Hope you're doing well. Come on, opponent. Just, just whiff, please. I'm begging you. Just whiff. Okay, them drawing cards is kind of a good thing, because that means they don't have anything, per se. game is actually insane <laughs> that solo the record was so it was it was like not that great just because they had the voice of resurgence but the fact that they skyclave the rhino oh my god are they attack with the skyclave with the uh elemental w blowout and then we just decay this and then block this. Rhino being four mana is kind of absurd. Block here. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have double blocked. Hmm. To play around collector company, yeah. Yeah. Should done that to play around collecting company. Yeah, that's that was unfortunate. That just me not knowing I I, I should have I, I know they had collecting company. I should have played around that. Okay. Um I guess we just plus the Spellbinder here. Yeah, I should have double blocked. That, that, I think that might have cost me the game. So I think I just take out the Flyer here. And then just slam Rhino. But this Rhino is just not doing anything here. Yeah, because they could be lacking a 4-4. Four, four. We could chump here. Like if I had if I had double block, I think we would have had a shot at this game. Even though they drew like a jillion cards. All well, next to us wouldn't be bad. That's for sure. Yeah, Vash could be good too. Oh, 
Do I just want to play around another collector company? I don't think so. I think I just have to go like this. Damn, like I could have double blocked this. They wouldn't have an unloaded token here. Like that, not double blocking really cost me the game, unfortunately. But I think we just have to block like this. We have to trade here. Unfortunate. Oh my goodness, Mr. Zarakai has entered the chat. How's it going, buddy? Uh, I really want to land <laughs> so we can settle them. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I think I just have to answer the love struck beast, right? I could theoretically kill the elf and then they have no way to attack with the beast. Cause like, how do I beat four flyers? Like flyers in the air. I think I just have to race them. I think racing is a real possibility, right? How was, I, I know you're, something happened to your house, right? Mrs. Ar Mr. Zarkai? Hopefully that's okay and resolved. I think it was like, did you have like a fire or something? I was really sad for you. It's like really unfortunate, but hopefully that's all resolved and well. I mean, I, I know you said your family was okay and that's kind of obviously the most important thing, but um, just gonna have six. I mean, this set of looming dooming is just like so good. Nice. We all, we, everyone, of course, missed your, um, your spicy additions that you test, you know? Yeah, like, um, what's that card? Uh, Maze Mind Tomb. You kind of, like, started that trend in that, in that deck, too, which is all, which is really funny. I wonder if they forgot about the settle. I really hope they did. If they just go all in on this attack, that'd be so funny. Yeah, it's definitely a... Um, he definitely made the mark on that format. Oh my god. Please right-click attack all. Right click attack all. If they do that, we have a shot this game. Forgot about settle, please. I mean, again, they get the 1-1 one, one off of his voice, but like <laughs> doing another 4 for 1? <laughs> uh, what's in their hand? If we draw, like, a Lurus, I kind of incentivize to, like, Thoughtseize first in case they have, like, Skyclave. Okay, they're just going to play out whatever the card in the hand. Oh, okay, they're just going to play it out. That's fine. Okay. So now if we draw a Lurus here, and Brother Growth bring it back. Oh, even just a Grimflare is fine. And I honestly don't mind, like, attacking here. I kind of incentivize the block here. Like, double block here. And I don't actually don't mind if they trade elemental here. 
Oh. How are we in this game? I guess it is Settle the Wreckage. <laughs> Settle the Wreckage is how we, uh, how we came back in this game. I'm playing a Naked Skyclave is really good for us. No cloak company one time. Oh. Damn it. Siege Rhino. Off the top. There are... Two left. I mean, it's a good cyber call, Gabriel. Alright, if, if there's any time for a Siege Rhino. If there's ever a time, right? Come on. I mean, they have to block here, so, like, that's something. Okay. I think I want to hold this. Just to, like, bluff it. There's no point, right? Just draw land, please, opponent. Let's see if they attack. If they attack with both, they 100% have collecting company, right? Yeah, they or just have another creature. Rhino one time. Rhino one time. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. Come on, deck. Seize Rhino. Obs we brought out. We have one obs of that, I think. Or six seven. So if they have any creature off the top, we dead. Oh, we crawl back and we just been whiffing. Okay, they didn't draw a creature unless they have collector company here. Okay, don't have anything. We need to draw siege right now. Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino one time. Come on, deck. Siege Rhino. Oh my god. How did they... <laughs> they went Giant Killer into Love Struck Beast into Scavenging Ooze. And we went... <laughs> uh, Fable Passage into Blooming Marsh into <laughs> Basic Swamp. Wow. If we draw a rhino here, I'm going to be really sad. But we essentially have no hats. I just want to see what I'm drawing. Oh. This is such a heartbreaking loss. Because, like, game one, if we had that third land for that land last tilt, we would have won that game so easily. Like, it wouldn't have been close. <laughs> they went from three life to ten. Oh man. Nice. GG. Maybe I should have brought out the thought seizes. Maybe I sideboarded it wrong. Maybe I should have brought the barred out the thought seizes for like Gideon's. That was fun though. Like being able to settle was pretty funny. I probably like wall really like just walked into it like no other. That's for sure. But oh one, what are you gonna do? It's all good here. I wonder if it's easy to find players in this queue. Yeah, so I like to go first. 
AJV20. I think this is a person that we raid pretty often. They have Luris as a companion, which is kind of scary. So we're gonna Umbrella Growth this and pass the turn. Umbrella Growth's kind of cool because we can like hold up Fatal Revolt for Fatal Push. Hell yeah, we're playing some uh, Pionero. I think in a turn I might crack this. This is uh, Gabriel in the chat uh, has been uh, requesting Pioneer for a long time, so that's what we're playing here. Just having some fun. Grixis Luris. Could also be as a phoenix, right? Could that also be a possibility? Oh, they're on Grixis Luris. So they don't have black mana for Thoughtseize. We have double push for this Jace, so I kind of want to just leave the Jace. Card doesn't do anything. I don't care if they Thoughtseize me, because like these cards don't really do anything. So I kind of want to just take the Drown, actually, which is kind of funny. Or I could... So we could either take the Opt or the Drown. I kind of like taking the Opt and just hope they don't draw black mana. And then their hand literally just doesn't do anything. So I think they're just taking the Opt here. And then, like, we'll see what they draw... Okay, they don't draw black mana, which is great. And we can just push this. Uh, so we'll do this. So they have four mana. One of them's unknown. We'll push this Jace. So here, if we draw an untapped land, which we don't, which is fine. Uh, which, 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 sorry, we drew a land, which is fine. So hopefully they don't draw black mana for a couple of turns and we just get him with Rhino into opposite act. Fuck. I kind of hope they take the opposite out here so that we can take the rhino. We can slam the rhino. Not the case, though. Alright, untap land. That's not a. Fuck, I should have cracked this. I keep forgetting the crack fable passage. Oh my gosh. I sh I, I should have cracked this field passage end of turn. Oh, that's a stupid mistake. Cause now they can hold up drown. Did I see a new sword? I did. I think it's okay. Oh, I'm gonna just uh, just discard the push. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, we can slam the Liliana here. All right, I'm gonna not, I'm not I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. We want double black. We want double white for opposite at here. Um, we really need a fourth land. So now they can drown whatever we play. I guess we just gotta slam this. Hope we draw a land and we can go lure, bring back growth, and to play into their drown. Oh man, I'm like fucking up. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, so now they have Kroxa into. They could just bring back Kroxa. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. Well, we have this Raska to answer it. Discard the Ops of that. Mm. This draws are just so awkward. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, please resolve. Okay. I should have cracked this, maybe. No, I want to play around Thoughtseize. So we actually don't know any of the cards in their hand. They're not putting Lurse in hand. Okay, Rhino. I think I want to play the Trial in case I draw Obs of that. Okay. Just fine. <laughs> Because we can hopefully we that pays away for Vraska here. Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies and Vraska wouldn't be bad. And brittle growth. But this the new storage on it seems, I feel like it's a little underwhelming. Honestly, I'm gonna wait until next turn to cast that. Um. I, I think that uh, the production of green from it isn't that relevant, right? And that's the thing. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to discard this Thoughtseize. Oh my god, Mike. How's it going, buddy? How was your, uh... I, I saw you switch decks to Grixis before I started streaming. How'd that stream go? Uh, probably just got a Swamp here. Ooh, Luris is a great draw. Thanks for the raid. I know this is not modern, but welcome everyone for tuning in. We're going to be playing some... God damn it. What? <laughs> really? That's awful. <laughs> the magic control is so funny. Hopefully this uh, Raska can dig us out of here. Did our opponent just forget about Lurse? They're like playing the game as if they just... As if they don't have Lurse in play. God damn it. Or Lurse in the companion zone. And what creature you control deals combat damage? <laughs> I've never had a chance to ultimate Raska, but this would be a cool opportunity to do so. I mean, they could escape Proxa, which is unfortunate, but we can just decay it here. I want to. I really, really want to. It's the, go it's the, it's the Well, this doesn't make tokens, though. This is the one where it's like whenever a creature deals damage. I'm surprised they just... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What does this do? Oh. So they're targeting Crocs. Uh, oh. They give me haste. I see. I get it now, opponent. I get it. <laughs> Get the other Raska then. How about a Fatal Push? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I just don't understand. Um, they don't have enough cards. To, oh, I guess they do with this Fatal Passage, right? Oh, now they do now with this Opt. It's why I honestly think this type of build is just, uh, it ha is why I had my reservations about it. Uh, I have forest, 
plain swamp. I'm gonna discard the tomb in case I need revolt for this. Okay, what does Luris do here? Luris brings back Umbril to growth. The thing is, you can't go to 20, cut to 23 lands with 5 drops in the deck. I think that's the problem. Uh, I'm going to do this. We can think about sideboarding. <laughs> We're probably not going to win this game. Probably bring in... Archangel Allison is kind of spicy. Probably crack this just on my turn. There's no point in cracking it now, right? I guess I gotta crack this after for Fatal Push. Guess it didn't matter. This doesn't do anything. Oh my god. That's so funny. I guess I should have waited. Because I know I'm going to crack the Scoos and like if I'm going to discard it. I'm just like trying to dig for removal for this Kroxa. Because if we had drawn push, then we could push and eat it and we're just like ahead, right? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take here. We already went through a little on a last hope, so this is the flips when you have five more cards in the graveyard. So we're safe for now. I think it's okay for me to grow scoos. So she's the rhino. Eat a Luris. Probably eat the other Luris. Or I could probably just eat the obs of that. Decay's Dece. Probably just eat the Jace now so they don't get the draw off it. The thing about it though is like Croxa isn't really threatening anymore. That's the problem. That's that's the thing. So I actually don't mind just like having the Croxa because like if they they can't really attack because we can just grow the Scoos. Okay, they didn't forget about the Lurs. Okay, they attack. Um, eat the Luris. We have actually no more Luris is left in the deck. I think we actually don't eat here. No, we lost the last hope, right? So there's no, there's no way to bring stuff back in the deck, right? Oh, uh, we have another ECD. I think at that point, I think I'd rather just keep the Luris in play then. ECD would have been good here. Kill the Luris. Alright, this Skuz is just like warping the game. Hopefully they don't have anything in hand. Oh man. Oh. 
Well, I'm gonna eat it just in case we somehow answer this crux, though. I don't think there's a way out of this game now. It's just lethal. Could just be lethal. Yeah. Hmm. I think we can. Hmm. I think since we have the decays, we can cut the pushes. I think this card's great. They actually have a lot of creatures. <laughs> I think Soul Guy Lanterns are decent because of Kruxa and, and Luris. I think we just trim in Rhino. 60 cards. ECD's out. That makes sense because everything's Luris. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe we want Duresses then. I mean, they have Jaces. Maybe I want Pushes instead. I mean, it's like only Jace and, and Kruxa. I just go like this. I just, I, I, me just not cracking that Fable Passage really cost me the game. And just like something that's just obviously I'm not used to in this format. It's definitely a, a little bumps in the road trying to get back into this. Maybe I should have played a couple practice matches first before I just went straight into the league. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Because, I mean, then we would just have a Liliana in play, and, like, would we win plusing since turn three? Like, would we win the game? It'd be close. I don't think they had any answers to it. And, like, whatever creature they counter, we can just bring it back. I mean, I think, I think we would have potentially won that game if I just... We were to crack the field of passage, which is frustrating. But I appreciate everyone for tuning in and hanging out. Everyone from Control Freak Stream and um, Zenith Live. Welcome, everyone. We're playing some abs and in pioneer that gabriel kind of suggested us to play kind of on brand with the stream theme sounds pretty decent fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> luckily there's no trot in this format luckily i think we just thought these here Do we care about this push? Probably not, right? I think we actually just take this two for one here. <laughs> I saw your react sad to the um to my post shitting on it. <laughs> Which is funny. Um I'm just gonna play this tapped. And I'm brittle good with it. Maybe I should have cracked. I should have put this on this land and then crack it and see if I drew um, Fable Passage and then play the Fable Passage instead. So op. They top with the opt. That's really unfortunate. Do I have to trophy this Jace? Do I have to trophy this Jace? I feel like I have to. So unfortunate. This isn't the decay. There's Lotus Field. Luckily, the is not very playable. What do you mean? Are you talking about Modern or, or Pioneer? Skull Clamp. Talk about Pioneer, right? 
Oh my. So I can copy the Jace. Why did I why did I cut fatal pushes here? <laughs> okay, we're we're done here. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> How's it going, Napalm? Hope you're doing well. I mean, honestly, this deck is just so top-heavy. <laughs> so it's like, it's not surprising. It's... Not not surprising that Siege Rhino is not <laughs> pulling weight here, even if we could. <laughs> Which is fine. It is what it is. It turns out Umber Growth isn't great. <laughs> if Umber Growth is not as good as Mister's Bobble, as in Company Pioneer, that seems sweet. Is it a combo or is it just like a mid range? Because we did play against Selesnya Company round one. Um, when we never, I, I would argue we narrowly lost O2. You missed the third land drop game one, and then game two, we just kind of flooded. I think you saw the tail end of that, uh, which is fine. <laughs> Grace, yeah, looks like you, um, you're going to turn our league around, right? <laughs> you will be the source of our victories here. <laughs> All right, we're on the play. O2 bracket. Let's go. Okay. We have our mana. We can play Lily on the last step on turn three. Just perfect. <laughs> I I think I if I think if we lose this match, I'm just gonna go through drop and switch to the mana traders call matches. Okay. Perfect O ten time, yeah. At least we have mana to cast Obzot here. It's not bad, not bad. If they play a two drop, we can push it. If they play a, an X one, we can only last hope it. Over two is interesting. Under the playing rock or something. They are playing rock. Sadly, that does not get pushed or a little on last hope. Is this the mirror? I'd be fucking. So I would laugh so hard if this was a mirror. <laughs> We're just gonna you know, plus tier. They could like decay this, but if they do that, I think that's fine. If they play Vraska, I'd be kind of unfortunate. Watch they play Siege Rhino. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, I think we just slam Rhino, right? Just this is our plan here. All right, she's Rhino. <laughs> is this a Pioneer League? Yeah. How's it going, Cover? Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Dog's like, what is happening? Oh my goodness. Valka's not in this league, right? <laughs> We're in this format, right? <laughs> okay. So we know they have Stomper Ground in hand. Are they going to play Stomper Ground? They're not. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that looks that's pretty decent. <laughs> I see what our opponent's doing here. Yeah, so they have a big dragon. Understood, understood. So 
So they have stomping ground. What was the card they had in hand? I didn't look at it. Girl was on the card. Forgot the card they drew. Because if they crack this here, they, that's how they stacked it, right? Yeah, so they drew. Four servers is fine. Well, luckily we have this trophy. Maybe they possibly could. I'm just gonna plus here. We have no way to trigger a volt here, which is unfortunate. Are we on the like protect Liliana plan though? I think we are. Like two turn for ultimating. I think we're on the protect the the Liliana plan here. So they're gonna draw stomping ground. They have carry at it. I think they have carry another carry at it in hand, I think. Okay, we knew about the courser. Okay. Play blooming marsh. So we know stomping ground, stomping ground in hand, I think. Okay. So we know one of the stomping grounds. Grazer. Okay. They have another stomping ground, yep, so don't there might be a card that we don't we're not aware of, but I think I missed it. So now we just obsidat, hold the fort down. Okay, it's decent. I'm gonna plus here. So we're not gonna exile here because we want to hold the fort down. This this is our key to victory here. Opponent's like, what is happening? <laughs> Who's playing off that right now? So I, again, I don't think I'm going to flicker off of that. Like, we're just gonna play on defense mode. They probably draw this grazer here with this. Um, castle yep okay uh no okay alrighty can you beat a Lilian ultimate because I'm going to be ultimate next turn oh no they can draw Vraska Oh, man. Unfortunate. I mean, then again, we're not like that far off. Okay. Luckily our creature is just bigger than theirs too. We're definitely going to push this Courser at end of turn because now that we have Revolt. I don't see a point in pushing the Dryad, right? I think we want to race these land drops. Because I think the Dryad isn't doing anything, right? Wow, it just moved it. That's weird. Castle. 
So I think we castle here. I think we send everything at Frasca. I can't kill anything. See if they force any blocks here. We don't have Deliria, we're not even close. This <laughs> Crypt Flare is actually really embarrassing on this board. Nice. I'll I'll kill the Dryad, that's great. So then we're going to play the Grim Flare. I'm A, I'm going to exile now. Okay, so they have fires in hand. Fires three unknown. I, I feel like I know at least one of the two cards. I just haven't been paying attention. They had to play the forest. They have tomb in hand, which is great. Okay. So I'm going to draw overgrown tomb. Hmm. Okay. Makes this pretty embarrassing. Okay. Just gonna have six here. How's it going, Amanda? Uh, there's no way to have Delirium now, right? I guess we draw Umbrella Growth into like Fable Passage. Then we have Delirium with Groom Flare. Always yield to this. Okay, that's unfortunate. We'll crack here. Okay. Since they have the Raska here, if we draw Thoughtsies, we have Delirium. Are we lucky enough to draw Thoughtseize? didn't have it never did not have it never did not have it how's it going boat guy Hope you're doing well. Sub guy? Okay, odds of daddy's kind of taking over the game. So I'm going to draw a fable passage here. Okay. Yes. F 
fires. So they have fires, forest in hand. Shuffle this away. They could plus here and then discard the Vraska. What the hell? Oh, that's spicy. Okay, so they can. S I see the synergy here. I see the synergy. Okay. How's it going, Rodeo Sand? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Who wins what? Yeah. Any picks from Honor Horizons 2? I'm actually really excited for Modern Horizons 2. I think I think the cards that are printed in... Oh, no. They have Corvold. Fuck. So I think the cards printed in... that's That's been spoiled. I think it, it'll drastically change how Abs and Meter Angel will be built moving forward. Um, I'm very excited for it. Um, I kind of have a rough draft in my head. Um... So it's like, I'm thinking like Grief plus Ephemerate is already kind of like the, the build around, right? And I think we have to play a deck where um, we we can't have too many dead cards. And I feel like you're going to have to utilize two for ones in the deck. So like stuff like um, Tide Huller Sculler, Skyclave Apparition, Grief... Um, these are the kind of cards I think that you have to shift the deck towards. And I think Grist is definitely a reason to go towards that way. Um, so then I'm thinking like, that's kind of like the main shell, right? Uh, so I think with that, I would like to have um, Thraben Inspector. So then you have kind of the synergies with Ephemerate. Uh, you have the synergies with Grist where you can, you know, sacrifice the... You can go like three inspector, turn two, you know, tight holder scholar, turn three, um, grist, sack the three inspector. Like you have these kind of value engines where your deck might not necessarily you 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 minimize the amount of drawing the wrong card, right? I think that's the fear, is drawing the wrong half. Uh I I assume we were just gonna die. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh, uh, Ranger Captain could be a, a player. I just don't know if there's anything that costs one or less. That would be great other than Thraven Inspector. Um, I think the deck's going to shift more around Collected Company now. Um, I don't think it can play cards like Liliana the Veil and like... You know what I mean? Like I feel like the, that kind of deck is kind of in the past and you're going to have to shift towards a different style. If that makes sense. Um... I could lure Unbridled Growth back, push this Courser. And then kill the Karn. Mm. Let's try that line. Yeah, you can Coco into it. And that's the thing. I think you have to, like, people are, like, oh, kind of sticking to the BGX shell. And I think there's a lot of cards that got printed that give you the tools to try a new archetype. So, like, you know, Gris Company, I think, is a viable, <laughs> a viable option. I shouldn't have tapped the screen for those slurs. I think we have to kill this card, though. But I think we're pretty much dead here. Yeah, exactly. Like, Liliana the Veil is good. There are times where, like, is, um, Liliana the Veil is great, but then, like, how Prowse is going wide. Hilliard has all these mana dorks. Um, 
like it's like when when you set up Liliana, it feels really good. Um, but then there's just so many cards in the format where um, you could plus with the Liliana, and it's just more detrimental for you to discard than it is for your opponent. Um, and what I mean by that is like you plus you discard you know a fatal push or you know uh, a stone force mystic or an equipment and then your opponent discards whatever and then they just like gain it back with all these efficient card draws um there's still Jace in the format like Liliana's just not good against um a lot of these control decks either uh, just because it's like you literally on a U plus, they tap out with five mana and play Teferi, right? And there's going to be um, there's going to be spots where like Liliana does when the game gets controlled. Don't get me wrong, but like the the number of times that kind of game happens is getting less and less. Um, do you see the squirrel empty the warrens? Is there an actual empty warrens, or is it just the one that makes a bunch of one ones? Because I saw that one. That one's pretty sweet. It's a reprint, though. I think we can kind of look at the spoilers. I'm as I'm getting my teeth kicked in here. It's gonna have six. Oh, actually, let me yield until X step, because I can. If they kill my thing, I can. Kill us the tracker with revolt. Oh, this one? Oh my god, I did not see this. This is a sweet chatter storm. That's so funny. That's so good. That's so good. And just the battlefield, create two one one scroll tokens. Scroll tokens gonna put someone in mass turn. That's pretty good too. I like the art. <laughs> the art is card so good. Look at this thing. It's so funny. This th this has to be the best art in the set, like hands down, has to be. Underworld Hermit enters the battlefield. Create a number of one one turn into a division to black. That seems pretty sweet too. Yeah, it's definitely you get half the tokens and half the cost. It's definitely interesting for sure. Do I even have a trophy left? So I could trophy this Corvold if I draw it. Or do they have the extra turn? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. They probably have the extra turn. I'm just dead. Hmm. This card's the one of the scarier ones. Subtlety. I was talking, we were talking about this in my Discord where, like, we we're scared how annoying it would be. And I'm like, I think the card has a high floor because, like, the fact that it has flash. Oh, that's cute. Means, like, they just, um. Means that they, uh. They can just, like, ambush us for free. So, like,. For example, if you have like a tall wave that's like a two three, like it's not safe to ever attack if they're even if they tap out. Um and it's super annoying if they go like Jace Brainstorm, put stuff back, um, and then you know, exile card, flash it in and protect your planeswalker. It's just gonna be so good. Um I think I have to bring the binding odds, great odds. Um Probably just like trim on some pushes. Last up seems meh. As well seems pretty good. I don't know. I hope it's something good though. <laughs> I hope it's something good. Oh, you do have the sack to evoke too. You're right. You're right. How the base gains have been so far? I've been kind of messing up by show, like for example, like Fable Passage. I've I've been like I've been like untapping with it when I should have fetched that end of our opponent's turn. So like those are the mistakes I've been making just because I haven't played Pioneer in like literally a year, almost almost a year. Um, but it just comes with it, and then we just been losing those close games as well. So I think I trim a decay. 
Let me trim a rhino. Rhino's just not that great here. No, you're right. I, I'm, I'm, I've been mistaken. It cannot protect it for sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it kind of doesn't do anything, which is kind of funny. I know. Me too, Arodio San. Me too. Cause like what is what is a free I mean, white could be just me naturalize. It could be like ETB naturalize. Cause it's not like white isn't it, it's not like white's new to these kind of effects, you know? Uh, I'm going to crack this one. See if I draw Thoughtseize. Not so lucky. Just say Pugin. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Not wrong, Gabriel. I'm going to tap out for this Lurus here. And I'm kind of like reluctant to... Oops. What is happening? White, black, or is all colors? Bobble definitely would. Because, like, here it's like I can't get value off this growth right away, which is unfortunate. I think Lurus is just honestly in the main deck, maybe just not playable. Just because you don't have that. And it shows, like, I think in modern, if you ban Bristol Bobble, you might just kill Lurus. <laughs> okay. I'm going to crack this for a land. I think maybe I want to make black mana first. No, I want to make white mana in case I draw fourth land and I can play Gideon. If I draw last, hope it doesn't do anything anyway. So let's do... Oh, I guess if I'm going to make white mana, I don't need to sack this now. So let's just sack this then. Land. Um, I guess we can just buy any old gods of the fires, right? Yeah. I think I just want a binding here. We're not getting any value off this, which is, which is really funny. So let's just attack. Yeah. Definitely going to do that plan, shorty. Definitely going to do that. Especially because we have the trophy, so even if they play the dragon, um, we can... Boop. It's going to play tapped or untapped. It can't play tapped. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, that just means I have nothing in hand. Hello? Death touch. So, binding the Wogal doesn't do anything after this, arguably. Getting a triumph's cute. Because we tapped, right? Yeah. So we could either A thought sees here. But I feel like I feel like they just have lands. They would have they would have literally cast anything. Right? They could have Fatal Push. I 
I think we just do this, get the value, and we can just play Grimflare. So we make black mana. Thoughtseize here. They just have lands. Okay, as expected. So attack here. Oh, wow, they're blocking. That's crazy. Do this. Uh, I did not play a land, so let's... Okay. Never mind. Play the forest that we knew about. <laughs> okay, so their hand is... I, I, it's not, kind of sucks. We're kind of incentivized to push this grazer now. Which is kind of shitty. Ooh, this plus this is kind of cute. Death Touch and Trample. Cute. That's cute. I kind of want to stack land on the top that's untapped, and then we can bring back Umbrittle Growth. Draw the land and then play Obsidat. Or we could just do this, it's also fine. E, C, D. Probably bottom, bin the Triome. Go E, C, D, Swamp. Bring back Umberto Growth. Sack this. Do this. And this. Yes. Play about all. Um. I mean, the deck's fun. It's just, I think Siege Rhino is not playable in this format. <laughs> don't think it's playable in a lot of formats, unfortunately. Um. But it is what it is, right? I feel like Pioneer's also just a very powerful format in a format where like a four mana four or five drain three just isn't good enough, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, that's scary. Okay. I could ECD this, push this, attack, they block obs of that, take five. It's better just to hold up fatal push, probably. Oh, I'm gonna push this now, I guess. So let's see if, how they block. Because if they go under... If they, like, take this off, this Rhino wins the game. So... Oh. Interesting. Block here. Okay. If they just take this, that's also fine. They don't. Um, I think I'm just going to mill all these. And I'm just going to play Siege Rhino. They go to one. And they just like, if they just ever pass a turn, I just win the game. We won a game! <laughs> Their opponent just flooded, but we won a game. Alrighty. Um, I think this is fine.
Yikes. Um, <laughs> this is kind of an easy mulligan here. Bottom of season right now. We're just so far of casting it. Then you go thought season into decay into scoos. Grazers, so good. Cut. What you're telling me is we have. We can play Scoos on turn two. Oh, they are missing lands. I guess we just take the Courser here. Don't draw land. Give us hope. Damn it. Well, I guess they don't. They can't cast it, so that's good. Forest would be a good draw here, or Overgrown Tomb, just so we can like decay plus eat and attack through the Grazer. They don't tap. Pretty good for us. Okay. So they got punished for not cracking this end of step like how we did into it. <laughs> Fine by me. That's a great draw. Like, that's like honestly so good for us. Because now we can just take the tracker. And like this dry doesn't really do anything. The mana in this format's so bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess our opponent missed it as well. Oh, God. Um, I guess we can decay this grazer and then attack the Karn down, and then we have the Binding to kill whatever they tutored for. Okay. So Thoughtseize is best draw, probably. Yeah, I think we have to decay this. So do this. Decay this. Attack Karn. Play this. And pass. Okay. It's annoying. Oh, they have the Vraska. Oh my god. Um... I guess we can crack this, try to get a Thoughtseize. I guess Thoughtseize doesn't really do anything. Wow. I guess we Obnixilis minus, or we can even Binding destroy the Courser. And then even if they go like Raska, sack the Nexus. 
like we still have we're like we're still okay yeah i think i like going binding here uh No, even then, they can go like Dryad plus Raska. And they can plus. No, we have to. We can't really protect this Omnix list. So I think it's best just to bind here. I could also just bind the fires. I agree, Baisho. I agree 100%. I think we just take this guy down. And then we just attack. I should have actually Obnixilus minus and then I can binding the Vraska. Okay. <laughs> Let's play Modern Stoneblade. Oh, did they draw another one? Okay. This is an extra turn. They somehow get another extra turn. I'm here for those two amulets, two tr one nonsense combo lasers. <laughs> Not wrong. That definitely happens a lot. Not wrong. Okay. I guess we just attack the Vraska and then kill the Dryad. I'm assuming they had Raska minus the Scoos. No, of course. I mean, the games we played were fun. Like, when we settled our, the Green White Company, but that was pretty funny. So, our creatures get Death Touch next turn. Doesn't really do anything. Um. Okay. Let's uh, draw a card. Okay. And attack Vraska. Let's start eating some duties. We'll leave one green source for Grimflare. Hmm. I, I could like make I could get it out of decay range, but I kind of want to play this Grim Flare out just in case. I think we just let this go. And do this. So if they like want to cash in their Rask, I think that's okay. I think either of these two cards are fine. I get to untap with this Not Nixel, which is pretty good too. Okay. Okay, another fires is fine. Grazer is fine. Because now we get to draw a card every turn, which is gas. 
This Opnixilis. This is, I love Opnixilis so much. Okay, that is not the card I was hoping for. Okay. Huh. I guess we do this. We will kill the Grazer. Uh, this will attack Rasko, this will attack our opponent. Oh, that's going to the graveyard. All of it. Castle coming in clutch, huh? <laughs> Castle coming in clutch. Okay, what do they have? Well, we're going to eat another duder. Uh, 11. This card doesn't really do anything. Because I kind of want to save the Elspeth. Do we have lethal? Is there five creatures? There are not. Let's float black. Plus discard this guy. Okay. I guess I should have stacked this first, but I had this draw too, which is why I waited. It's fine. Kind of lost the mana here. I think so. I think that sounds like a right, a, a decent plan. Gideon seems like a decent draw. We're gonna plus here. All the Planeswalkers. Give me all of the Planeswalkers. That's a pretty cool game. <laughs> just, uh... I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. They could definitely just... Theoretically, Karn... Okay. What do they have that could answer this board? Is there a little Oblivion Stone in this format? We have two removal spells. So... It's kind of a nice combo to have. Double Saga. Five plus nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have enough mana to cast both. Right? Yeah, we have enough mana to cast both. Like, what's there out here? Heart of Kirin. Interesting. Do we just win? Can they activate this instant speed? Yeah, they say they can block. So I'm gonna binding that. One half mana to ECD. So do this. Attack first. Woohoo! We got one! We got one! We're coming back, boys. We're coming back. <laughs> We're coming back. Do you believe we're gonna 3 2 this like we 3 2 all of modern? <laughs> Do you believe? So funny. With a 1-2 bracket, opponent's also 1-2. They're playing Gigantha. What does that mean? This hand is 
awful. His hand's also awful, but I don't think we can go to five here. Probably just bond the Oxidats. We're on the draw here. Okay. Gilded Goose. That's pretty cool. This Jund. Okay. Mayhem Devil. Jund food. Let's turn too slow here. Oh, crap. I want to uh, play Grim Flare here. I think we have to go Thoughtseize into Trophy next turn. Into Vraska. Uh oh. Oh, they just have the whole combo. Way to go, Kev. That's unfortunate. Should have thought first. Bone Crusher Giant's really good here. I think I have to take the Trail of Crumbs. Man, this trophy's so awkward here. <laughs> Past couple games. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, last last match was Jun Fires. It's definitely a different deck. Do I really just have to like Raska minus the Mayhem Devil here? I think that's like kind of my quarrel about this deck. Is like the deck is just so clunky. You know, I feel like the power level of this deck is just much lower and the efficiency is just um not worth it. Are we just <laughs> We're so close to dying now. Okay. Okay. Well, we have Lure, Springback, Grim Flare. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. I mean, we're probably just going to die to this cat. Shimmer Rhino, everything that costs three or more ECD comes out. Just trim rhinos here. I think just go like that. <laughs> did they like not cyborg? They like cyborg quicker than we did. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can mold on this. Okay. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's got kind of cool pathway full art. 
Ooh, they took the off to that. That's kind of interesting. Certainly interesting. Ouch. I think we just have to play this Luris out. Do we, though? I guess we don't have to. We could Luris bring back the growth and just hope decay this turn. I think this is fine. Oh, don't thought these me again. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let me just yield here. Don't think it's worth decaying the cat. Hopefully they don't have another removal spell. We'll growth this. The engine is online. Please don't disrupt the engine. Oh, they aren't tapping. Okay. Ah. We have the de okay. I was gonna say if they had um, Manda, we have the decay for it. Damn it. Um. I guess we have to cycle. Not looking good. They put Giganta in hand. I think I have to de decay this giant now. That does not answer Gigantha. We could just die to that 5-5. Five five. Goose is fine. Another Luris would be great here. It's funny how the Gigantha just outgrows our whole team. I mean, I guess we could draw into Trophy and Trophy for the Gigantha. Okay, I guess we thought these. Okay, their hand is ass. At this point, I think we have to decay the Cauldron Familiar. Just to protect the Raska, which is so bad because we have the food. Oh, they're attacking me. That's fine. Oh, we're one mana short from obsidating.
Um, it's awkward. I think we just have to plus this Gigantha here. And if they ignore my walker... We can minus get obs of that back. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty good. I guess we have to decay this strider here. Takes out their sack outlet. I think here we just let this go. We need a trophy for this Gigantha. Oh, do they have the dragon? Oh, I see. I just pushed this to be efficient. Hmm. Well, I feel like is Skyclave Apparition legal in this format? I think there should be Skyclave Apparition in this deck. Well, that wasn't bad. Now we can trade here. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. If they draw nothing here. Fuck. Like, I'm definitely trading here. Like, we have a shot in this game. It's definitely hard, but... I think we're just trading. If we draw Lurus here, we go Lurus, bring back Grim Flare, and Ultimate Vraska, we can win the game. Which is actually crazy. What is this? That's fine. Hmm. Oh, man. We're just so close to turning the corner, and we're just like... Mm. That was a good draw. I might have to just Vraska decay it. 
Um, just gonna have six here. Come on. Huh. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy how we've just been just kind of cycling through our deck with this Raska and it's just not just not getting anywhere. We put Corbold in hand. Yeah, that's game. Nope. This is why you don't play Siege right away, Pioneer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alrighty, let's um, switch to some modern now. Let's stop the recording here. Appreciate everyone tuning in for this Pioneer content. Uh, I normally don't do any Pioneer, so uh, appreciate everyone for tuning in on YouTube. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of my absent content. Take care and hope to see you guys next time. Bye.